Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers and thank you so much for the newcomers. I hope you like what you see and if so, please do be part of this journey by subscribing. Hit that bell notification to be notified of my new uploads. And I want to say a special thanks to Karen Coffey, uh, the administrator of Crochet Therapy for all her beautiful support and to every single one of the members on that group that have been supporting me and that just embarked on this journey with me also that have subscribed. Um, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. You guys are awesome. I love this group to pieces. It's just, you know, a beautiful, beautiful big family. A big shout out to my dearest, beautiful Karen Young. I love you so much, girl. And um, I can't express how I feel about every single one of you. And even for the ones that did not subscribe yet, I love you just the same. So thank you so much uh, for your beautiful uh, comments and your support. I am very grateful. Thank you. And for people that don't know crochet therapy yet, you should drop in and on Facebook and look them up. They are the best group by far. Um, I'll never get tired of saying it. I just completely adore that group. They're so nice and so caring. And they're there to help every single one that needs the help in any situation. So thank you so much, Crochet Therapy. And to all the members, Karen Young and to Karen Coffey, thank you. Okay, today we're going to start to make another dolly. I'm sure you will love this dolly also. A lot of people always keep asking me to make doilies. Now, time to time, I'll throw one in there, you know. I'm, I'm more, I like creating them, it's fun, but I, I'm more into a little bit more detailed on table runners, as most of you know. Most of my projects are table runners and with special details on them. I don't know. I just like, I guess, breaking my head with things like that. But yes, I'm going to create another dolly today for a lot of you that um, ask me a lot about creating different doilies. So I hope you're going to enjoy this tutorial. And please don't forget to give it those thumbs up. It does help uh, the channel and it helps to circulate worldwide. So thank you so much, okay? We're going to get started. 100% um, cotton thread. It's a four-ply. Needle number three. I like to use a smaller needle to tuck in loose ends. And of course, a pair of scissors to cut up your thread. Thank you, everyone. We're going to get started, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is the magic circle. For some of you that still have difficulty with the magic circle, depending upon your stitch, if it's too loose or it's too tight. If it's too loose, do a four chain. And if it's too tight, do a six chain, okay? But it's very simple. Once you get the hang of it, you won't want it any otherwise. So you would turn it once and you'd put it, you know, right over the one that you just rolled. You'd grab from the top, bring it to the front, you bring your your magic circle into your finger, of course, because you wanna you wanna work with it and put yourself into position. You can hold it there and do your first chain. And your your magic circle is secured already. So we're gonna go up chain three inside of this magic circle. We're gonna do 23 more double crochets. With the chain three we went up, we'll have a total of 24 double crochets. Okay, so this will be row one. And once we turn and do our 24 double crochets, we're going to lock it up on the third chain with a slip stitch. I'll meet you at the end. So we've done our 24 double crochets. We're going to pull on the magic ring and we're going to close it up. So it's going to leave a little space like this, obviously, because there's 24 stitches, uh, double crochets in there. So we come on the third place and we're going to slip stitch. We're going to go chain four. One, two, three, four. Row number two. 
on the next one we're going to do a double crochet so the chain four would mean three for double crochet one for separation one separation next space double crochet one separation next space double crochet so row two will be exactly the same way all the way around one double crochet per space with one chain separation in between them so you're supposed to have a total of 24 also same thing as the uh, row before coming to the third chain we're going to lock it in with a slip stitch so now we're pretty much finished doing the 24 with one chain separation between them I'm going to come to the back and I'm going to tuck away my thread from the chain so it does not get in the way and it will be already over and done with I don't have to deal with it anymore so we're going to go in through the loops back here we're going to pull this thread right through it that's why I like to use a smaller um, needle so it doesn't poke big holes uh, from the back doesn't look nice so you get a smaller one and you pull your your strain right through it so it's secure so if you're going to wash it or give it somebody they're going to wash it it's not going to come apart everything is locked in pretty well and it gives it a nice um, professional ending to it sometimes a little bit hard with a small needle obviously but you know we manage you know the, the thread is stubborn but we are more stubborn right so we just i guess i didn't catch all the thread here okay so just continue to roll a bit once you see that you're pretty much secure on that it's not going to go anywhere so you just cut in loose end wiggle it a bit just to get that thread loosened up in there and you have the perfect um the perfect magic circle okay so now we're going to row number three very simple we're going to do again 24 double crochets with two chain separation this time so we'll be exactly the same thing as row two we're going to go chain five two three four and five because three would be considered a double crochet and two for separation so next space double crochet two chain separation next space and you're putting on top of the double crochet from the previous row okay so you just pretty much line them up I'll meet you at the end so do your row close it in on third uh, chain with a slip stitch okay so we finished row three going into row four now row four and five are exactly the same thing so I don't need to record row five because it's the same thing as row four so we're gonna do chain three one two and three on the same space we're going to do another double crochet two chain separation and again another double crochet two chain separation actually i am going to have to record row five because some of you are beginners and 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 don't know the stitches yet but row five we have to do the two double crochets one on top of each other two chain separation double crochet double crochet but i will show you just to make sure that there is no confusion so chain two and another double crochet on the same space so repeat all the way to the end close it in with slip stitch and go up chain three we're going in to um, one two three four and five chain three 
on the next space double crochet chain two next space double crochet next space double crochet chain two so it's exactly the same thing as um, row four except this time you're putting double crochet over double crochet chain two double crochet on the first space and double crochet on the second space I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so we finished doing row five. We're going to go into row six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Chain three. Into the next space. Double crochet. One more double crochet on the same space. So now you're going to have three on this space. Two chain. Next space. Double crochet, next space, double crochet, and one more on the same space. Two chain separation, double crochet, and two more inside of the second double crochet from the previous row. So very simple. I'll meet you at the end. Row seven, chain three. Next space, incomplete. So we're gonna do four double crochets incomplete. We have three and one more in the same space. So on the last double crochet, we do two. Take out all at once. Chain four, one, two, three, and four. I'm going to come in the first one, we're going to take out two and leave two on the needle. So take out two, now we got three on the needle. We're doing four double crochets incomplete. We got three and one more. So we have four double crochets here and we have five on the needle. Now we're going to take it out all at once. Chain four, one, two three and four. Again, we're going to do a double crochet incomplete. Next space, double crochet incomplete. And next space, we're going to do two together. One more in the same space. We have five on the needle. We take out all at once. One, two, three, and four. And again, this is perfect um, for beginners, especially if you're new at crocheting. This is easy pattern for you, and it would make, of course, a gorgeous gift for Mother's Day. Okay, very simple. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, we're going into row eight, so I'm going to close it in right here. right in the middle where we've closed in all the the stitch and we're going to go on chain four one two three four this is going to be uh for the triple crochet okay four and then we're going to do two more chains so that's going to be actually three more chains and that's going to be um seven chains all together. We're going to turn twice. We're going to do the triple crochet inside of the same space here. We're going to take out two, take out two, and take out the last two. So we're going to create like this little V, if you want to call it. We're going to turn again. We're going to come where we closed in all the stitches. Take out two, take out two, and take out two. One, two, two, three chain. We're going to go back into the same space. So we're creating V's with triple, triple crochet. Again, 
There's no separation in between them. So we go into the middle where we closed in our stitch. Triple crochet. One, two, and three. If your stitch is extremely tight, then do a four chain on your V's up here, okay? Um, if you find that it's going to pull too much, then do a four, because I'll do the same thing if I find that it's going to pull too much. Again. I'm going to do one, two, three. I'm going to try with four and see if the pattern is more comfortable with it. I think I'm going to do a four so it doesn't uh, pull too much, okay? Because my stitch is too tight anyway to begin with. Okay, take out two, take out two, and the last two. One, two, three, and four. So you roll twice on your needle for your beginners. Take out two stitch, two stitch, and the last two. So we're going to do it this way all the way around. It's funny, uh, camera does not pick up on colors, but this is a very deep red, like the lipstick red. You know, that red burgundy. Um, it's crazy. It looks like a reddish strawberry on camera, but it's not. It's really like a burgundy red. Okay, so continue on yours, and I'll do mine. I'll see you at the end. Okay, so we're coming to the end. We're going to close up one, two, three on the fourth space. Slip stitch. We're going to do one, two, three, and four for double, uh, for triple crochet. So we're coming inside of the next space. Oops, I have to do a triple crochet. So you turn twice. And you have your V again. We're going to do one, two, three, four, and five. Chain five. We're coming into the first one here from the V. So basically it's the same thing, except uh, contrary to this one. So we're coming in. And what do I mean by contrary to this one? Because we had to do four uh, chain stitch in the middle here. And here we're doing the V on top of it. We're doing five chain stitch in between the V's. Okay. Again. One, two three, four, and five, and doing our triple crochet. And then in the V, there's no separation. We're going to create a V this way. One, two, three, four, and five. So you know you have five chains to create in between the space here and create our V again with triple crochet. Here we're going directly inside of the next okay so this is one two three four five six seven eight nine row nine I'll meet you at the end. So we're reaching the end. We're going to double turn. We're going to do our V. We're going to do one, two, three, four, and five. And we're going to close it in. Slip stitch. And there you have it. So now we're going in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, row ten. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah, row ten. So row ten. We're going to do sixteen chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 chain. We're going to come from the bottom up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. We're going to close it on the 6th space with slip stitch. We're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So we did our 5. So we did our five chain. We're going to come in here. Not the first one, the second one. And we're going to close it in with single. We're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We're going to come in the second one here again and close it with single. I'm going to do 16 again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Uh, slip stitch. We're going to count. We're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, on the sixth one, one, two, three, four, five. On the sixth one, we're going to slip stitch it. So we're going to create these little loops here, like that. And then again, five, one, two, three, four, and five chain. Coming to the second one on the V, close it up. Again, 10 chain. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Come on the second one. Single. 16 chain again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. I'm going to count. One, two, three, four, five on the sixth one. Slip stitch. One, two, three, four, and five. Come on the next V. Close it with single. And we're going to repeat this all the way around. Okay, so very simple. I'll meet you at the end. So we are on the last one. Just attached. Now we're going to do uh, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And we're going to close it up with slip stitch right here. So this is what it looks like. So you're supposed to have 12 of these loops all the way around. Okay, so we're going to go into row 11. I decided to change color. So basically where you did your slip stitch. For some of you that are creating the same colors. So you do your slip stitch and you come inside of the, the chain here. And you do five singles. Two. Three. Four. And five. If it's too loose for you, you could even do six, okay? If you find that it's uh, 
If you're changing colors and if it shows too much, the other one underneath, you can do six of them. Okay, we're going to go inside of the circle here and we're going to do 21 double crochets. Okay, all inside of the circle. So I'm going to do my 21 and come back to you. So I did my 21 double crochets. I'm going to come on the chain that's coming down and I'm going to do six single again. If your stitch is too wide and do only five, two, three, four, five, and six. Into the middle chain, we're going to do 12 singles, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. For the people that have very loose stitch, you can do only 10. Again, we're coming back into the chain that goes up with six singles. So very easy to do this row. One, two, three four, five, and six, and come back inside of the circle and do your 21 double crochets. So nothing to it, piece of cake. And this is pretty much what it's going to look like. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so we're on our last 12 single. We're going to come in the first single and we're going to slip stitch. Okay, so we're going into row 12. We're going to slip stitch all the way where we have the double crochet. So a slip stitch for each space here. And we're going to um, slip stitch until the fourth one. So one, two, three, and this is the fourth. So on your fourth slip stitch, we're going to do four chains, two, three, and four. Three for double crochet, one for separation. Next space, double crochet, one chain separation. Next space. one chain separation, next space, double crochet, one chain separation, until we uh, meet again down here, we'll be um, on the fourth one, that means we'll have three left, okay, so I'll meet you there. So I did my double crochets with one chain separation, on the fourth one, I started it with the three, a uh, four chain. So you're supposed to have a total of 15. With the three that we didn't do, and the three that we're gonna leave out, so that means I stopped on my 15th, that means you have three spaces left, the three double crochets, which that will equal the 21, okay? Now we're gonna do chain three, two and three. We're going to skip this space here and we're going to count one, two, three, four, five. On the sixth space, we're going to do a, um, not slip, sorry, a single and next space, a single again. We're going to do three chain again, two and three. 
and we're going to skip one, two, three. On the fourth one, we're going to continue to do our 15 double crochets. One chain separation, make space, so one per space, and one chain separation. So very easy, nothing to it. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so we're reaching the end. We do the three chains. We're going to come and lock it up on third place on the first three chains we went up. So it's going to be like this. I believe we finished doing uh, row 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and 12. So we're going into row 13. We're going to go right in the center in between the double crochets here. The first double crochet with the single. One, two, three chain. This would be considered as already with the single a double crochet plus one chain separation. So we're going to repeat this. Okay. Next space, double crochet, one chain. Next space, double crochet, one chain. Next space, double crochet, one chain separation. Next space, double crochet. Next space, double crochet, one chain. Next space, double crochet. And again, the same thing. So basically, we're repeating what we did on the previous row. So we're pretty much going all the way to the last, the last space between the two. And we have one, uh, where am I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We're going to go directly into the first one here. No uh, chain separation except doing the double crochets, one chain separation. So again, a very easy row to, to follow. And you do your 14 double crochets. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So we're pretty much reaching the end. We are going to come one, two, three. That's counting already from the single that we started. We're going to slip stitch. We're going to come back inside with single, two chains, um, the three chains, sorry, and we're going to come back into the next space and do the same thing as we did on the previous row. So we're going to do one chain separation and do our double crochet per space. And this is the before last. We only have one more row left and we're done which the next row is only peacocks. So very simple. It's going to be easy, fast, and a gorgeous pattern. So we pretty much do this, the uh, double crochet per space, one chain separation into the last one here. And we're going to jump right into the first space on the next motive with no, um, no separation chain, and we continue on. So very simple, very easy pattern to create, and very beautiful. Now, I might still do something about this pattern, like turn it into a table runner um, with some other motives around it. I'm not sure yet at this point, but if I do, 
I will uh, record um, what I will be doing with this pattern if I come up with plan B for it. Okay, so you want to make sure that if you're new, you hit that um, bell notification to um, be notified if I'm going to do something with it and you can follow through if you'd like to create whatever I am going to create also with this pattern. So very important to have that bell notification to get notifications of my new uploads. So very simple people, nothing to it, just uh, sing, uh, double crochets all the way around with one chain separation, coming from the last one here directly into the first one here and I'll meet you at the end. So we've reached the end. And we're coming into, there's the single we started. So we count that one, two, three. And close it in with slip stitch. We're going to do our last uh, row. I believe it's row 15. So we're going to do chain three. We're going to come into the first, well, exactly where we closed off. We're going to uh, picot. We're going to come inside and do a single. One, two, three. We're going to do the peacock again and into the next one. One, two, three. Peacock again. And into the same one with single. I think I did too much here. Okay, let's do this again. That wasn't too bright of me. Okay, so we close in with a single. Let's go inside with a no, with the uh, single, not a slip stitch. Good Lord, it always happens at the last row, right? Okay, so we come in the middle with the single one, two, and three, and we're gonna go in and do our peacock with slip stitch into the same space, single. One, two, three. We're going to do the picot again and into the next space. One, two, three. Picot again and into the next space. One, two, three. Picot again. And into the next space. One, two, three. Picot. And into the next space. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Picot again. Into the next space. One, two, and three. Picot into the next space. One, two, and three. Into the next space. What single, of course? One, two, and three. And we go into the single and close it in. Oops. A single, oops, I was about to do a double now, imagine that. Into the next space, we're used to doing double crochet, one, two, three, and slip, slips to single. Oops, what am I doing? I'm just going to do a double crochet again. Next space, one, two, three, I think it's a tiredness now, right? 
If you got next space, one, two, three. If you got, it's so easy to make a mistake, isn't it? One, two, three. If you got. And this is the last space here, so we're going to put it in um, single in the last space. And then we go directly into the first the first square here. One, two, three, and peacock. And we're going to go in in the same one with this one, okay? One, two, three, and peacock, and then into the next space, and it continues on. So, very simple. Um, this pattern, this tutorial, one, two, three, nothing to it. And like I said, um, I might create something else to go with it to turn it into a table runner. So you might want to stay tuned for that. One, two, three. Next space. One, two, and three. Next space. Single. One, two, three. Come into the single. Grab your two loops and close it in for your peacock. One, two, and three. Next space. One, two, three. I will have the pictures and a little video at the end. The reveal shots. Two, three. So you want to go all the way to the end to see what it looks like. I'll probably put on top of my counter because my counter is white and this is going to like um, pretty much outstand the pattern. So we're into the last one. We're going to create one, two, three. Peacock. And we're going to come back into the same one so we can close it there. And then we go directly into the next Motive. So we do nothing here in the middle, okay? One, two, and three. And we're going to keep repeating this all the way around. So the first one you go into the same space with a single. And then now you do your peacock and you go into the next, uh, your, your chain. Um, and then you go into the next spaces. One, two, and three. And then the last one, when you close your peacock, go into the same space like we just did here. Okay? So I thank you so much, everyone, for your, all your beautiful support, comments, suggestions, questions. Please don't be afraid. If you have any questions or stuck on any of my patterns, you could always uh, comment below or email me or go into the description box. Um, I have my Instagram on there, the link. You can always follow me on Instagram too and, and ask me any questions by there. It's much faster for me to answer there than, than through uh, here on YouTube. So, And this is pretty much what it comes down to. So thank you everyone. I will see you in the next tutorial. And thank you so much again for being part of this journey with me. Stay safe and God bless. Thank you.